heading out to my rental right now over in the boonies. I just got done leveling it out. The um, When I bought the property almost a year ago, the, the porches in the back and the ground was actually sloped towards the, uh, the property. What happens is rain usually, will, when it erodes, rain will come back to the property since the ground is sloped that way and water just sits and it just soaks and it sits next to, next to the property. My property, it's actually made out of cinder block for the foundation. So when I've been looking for properties, I've seen that they have a lot in common. When people or the landlord or people with their properties don't take care of it and make sure the land is actually sloped away, what happens is the foundation fails. And with cinder blocks, they're known for uh, having horizontal cracking when, or they're stair stepping when there's a lot of water where it could just sits. So the, the uh, dirt gets heavy and it starts bowing in the cinder blocks. So the uh, foundation starts to fail if, if it's not uh, corrected, it'll eventually cave in. So I want to try to limit or I want to try to uh, stop extra problems in the future. I want to make it, I want to try to get all this stuff done right away so I don't have to worry about it later on. Collect my uh, rent check and try to do as uh, most preventative maintenance as, uh, as possible. So I don't have to worry about it in the future. I can't tell you how many times I went to a property and uh, I seen that the foundation was already starting to crack or there was a lot of moisture because the sloping of the ground was wrong. When I get there, I'll, I'll give you some shots. Oh, also, the porches. I also should show you the porches. I didn't do so hot with that. Uh, I should have uh, patched it better, but I'm not really done with it. I'll probably take like a wire brush and clean up the patches so they look a little bit better. But the porches were actually cracked in half, which you'll see. And they were sloping towards the property also. So that just for, uh, just leaves more rain coming towards the property. So I had to jack that up. And I had to put more gravel underneath there as much as I could. And then I drilled it out with a concrete drill bit. And then I just put green stuff to fill the gaps where I couldn't get rock in. And that's all I could do. I'll show you more when I uh, get over there. So here's the property. You can see where I put the hay down. I just uh, laid grass seed with some fertilizer. It was dipping quite a bit right here and you can see the center blocks I actually used 82 bags of dirt I know I should have uh, you got a yard of dirt but I figure it's a lot easier to just uh, use a wheelbarrow I mean, not a wheelbarrow, but a, a dolly, and just literally cut a bag and open it. Took me like an hour per 30 bags, so it wasn't bad. So I'll spend the extra money. It was dipping all over. It was quite a bit. I even had to pick up the AC unit. Because it was down so far, just from the erosion. I had to level that out. 
Here's one patio. There's already uh, a fence, I guess, uh, quick creed here. And I just, uh, when I jacked this up, it, I just uh, brushed off as much as I could, put some more over it. You see how I uh, see how the porch is going down and keeping water away. And then I just made the patches a little bit too big when I drilled them out uh, to put the great stuff in there since uh, I had to fill up the gaps I couldn't get with the rocks. I'll probably take like a wire, uh, a brush on a drill to brush it all off. Same thing with this patio. These things had to get jacked up like five inches. It's all sloping away. Yeah, this place is a wreck right now. But it's going to look good when it's done. The front side is a rock. I'm kind of figure trying to think if I want to rip the rock out and bring up the grade more and then do something else with it. I'm not sure. I've seen a lot of the, uh, yeah, this has got to get all taken care of. I literally just bought the property in September of last year, so I've been just nonstop uh, working on it. I think uh, once I power wash this, it's going to blend in a lot better. But it's just dark, obviously, and you got all these light patches. But all I was worried about is water intrusion. And I knew it was going to settle. So I even overdid it and brought it up even higher. So it would... Uh, so it could settle enough and still be on a nice incline. I knew it was going to crack. It's just keeping the water out. But it literally cracked in like a couple days. I knew it was going to crack that fast. But it can move like at 32. And it's going to crack. It's just to keep the water out. But literally it's just a hairline. You can just see it. It's not this whole thing, but it's just a hairline crack. Where is that? Get you a better picture. Here you go. Just a single little crack. Nice little hairline. But I'm not worried. And actually, it being sloped like that actually was a, uh, probably the main reason why there was so much mold in the crawl space that I had to kill off. But, it's getting there. And all the mold's dead, and...